Hope. I'm a conference ambassador for the University of Arkansas, and I'll be leading you guys through your tour of Potts Hall. Can we just go ahead and introduce the cameraman? Yeah. Hey, y'all. My name is Henry. I'm going to be the cameraman for today, um, and I'll be monitoring your questions, so feel free to ask anything. I'll be sure to ask Hope uh, your questions, and let us know where you're tuning in from, uh, like city and state. But what's up? Cool. So we're going to start actually outside for today. If we look just right over here to our left, we will see the quads. The quads is home to Futural Dining Hall, not Futural, Fulbright Dining Hall, and that's where people will come together and eat a lot on campus, especially on this side. And then to our right, we have Maple South, which is home to one of the meal trades on campus. Um, also to the left, we have Small Mart and the Garland Parking Garage. Small Mart is just a really small Walmart that people like to go to instead of actually having to go off campus. It has the necessities that you would need so that you don't actually have to make that trip. If you notice right here, we have Key Fab. Mm -hmm. It basically just unlocks the buildings. Every single residence hall has them. Every single residence hall also has only work for their building. Okay. So that way, there's a um, really good security for all of them. Gotcha. So if we go this way, we will notice a ping pong table and a pool table, as well as a kitchen and TV. Mm -hmm. This is where a lot of residents will come and hang out, cook, there's a bunch of ping pong tournaments. You can mm -hmm. always count on that. There's always someone down here doing something. Mm -hmm. um, and then if we come this way, we will see the theater. Um, again, it's another place where a lot of people like to come and hang out. Uh, there's a bunch of movie nights. There'll be programs in here that floors will have for movie nights. You can rent out a Nintendo Switch from the front desk and also have like a game night in here. There's just a bunch of stuff that people happen to do in here, and it's really nice. Gotcha. Where to next? Um, we are going to head to the music room, gotcha. which is just basically a room where if you like to play piano, you can play, or if you're a music major or like to play any type of instrument, mm -hmm. it has really good um, sound quality, and it also doesn't like disrupt anybody else. Nice place to practice. Yes. So as you can see, there is a piano, and there is actually some sheet music. There's not a bunch, but this is a nice area. Gotcha. Alrighty. Now, before we move on to the rest of the tour, let me introduce you to one of the representatives from the Honors College. Hi, all. My name is Peyton Jones, and I'm a graduate assistant for the Honors College. And some opportunities <laughs> the Honors College will offer you is that you have it, you have an available space where you can study on the first floor. As well on the second floor, you can go and visit our Futures Hub, and they'll help you find internships, plan your study abroad trip, and let us really help you plan for the future. Also, every Thursday, we offer recess, which is a great time where you can grab coffee, snacks, and tea, and also study and play games. And another fun program we offer with um, here at Hot Hall is Professor's Pizza on the Patio. It's a great opportunity where students can meet with honors faculty staff, as well as professors, and you can just kind of grab pizza. It's super chill. They sometimes offer ice cream, and it's held at the pie patty at Hot Hall. Gotcha. Alrighty. That's super cool. We can actually step out onto the patio. You guys can get a look for yeah. it. And be sure you all to let us know any questions you have about HOTS or about the Honors College. Henry, did you ever spend any time out on the patio? I did. So I actually lived in HOTS for three years, and so I would spend a lot of time out here studying and uh, reading, and uh, especially for H2P, some of y'all may be taking those classes. Did a lot of reading out here for that, so yeah. gym at Hots. Mm -hmm. um, is one of the only residence halls, there's only three of them that have a gym. So mm -hmm. it's really nice. There's still small, but there's the necessities that you would need so that you don't have to go all the way down to the hyper. Gotcha. Um, on the way there though, we'll see the fishbowl room. Mm -hmm. This is where lead hogs um, hold their meetings. Mm -hmm. There's also be programming, but a lot of people like to study in here as well. There's usually always somebody in there, mm -hmm. which is also really nice because it builds community a lot. So what are you studying? Um, I'm a double major in chemistry and chemical engineering. Mm -hmm. And I'm a triple minor in sociology, physics, and math. Gotcha. And this is the gym. 
And Hots is only one of three residence halls to have a gym. The other is Duncan and Reed. Yes. Alrighty. So Before we show the front desk and go to the rooms, let me introduce to you guys the CRE of the building. Hi, Hello. everyone. My name is Talita. I am the CRE, which is coordinator for residence education, pretty much a hall director um, for Hots Hall. I've been here for a year, so this is my second year in Hots. So excited to see you guys here. Uh, you can always reach out to me if you have any issues in the building or if you had some great, great ideas for programming and all of that. I supervise the RAs. You'll get to know your RAs pretty soon. Um, so yeah, welcome to HOTS. Excited you guys will be here and I'll be joining you all now. Awesome. Y'all be sure to let us know if you have any questions for Toledo, but one question I had, are there any uh, favorite moments you have of, of HOTS, favorite memories or any favorite programs? Oh, absolutely. So last year, we started a program called um, Bar Trivia, which was a alcohol awareness program. And that was super fun because we had our Dr. Prowse, which is just professors that come to our building and like hang out with the residents. So they came and they participated like in a, a trivia night, kind of like a bar trivia. We had mocktails, we had uh, UAPD bringing uh, the canines. So that was super fun. We had a cute photo booth, like it was the best. Like we had a lot of residents coming and you know, learning too, and like engaging with each other. So that was super fun. That was my favorite program last year. Hopefully we get to do this year again, but yeah. All right, cool. Well, y'all be sure to let us know if you have any questions for Talita. Awesome. And what's, on, what's up next, Hope? All righty, we're gonna head to the front desk. Um, and on the way, we're gonna actually pass by the mailboxes. So every single dorm, um, every single room has their own mailbox. You share it with your roommates and you'll get a combination. It will be in your housing portal, and that's where you just get your paper mail. Anything that fits in a mailbox, they'll put in a mailbox. Mm -hmm. Hi, James. So this is the front desk. This is where you'll get your packages. Mm -hmm. um, this is also where you can check out any type of equipment. There's a, usually some RA here, not every hour of the day, like obviously not like three in the morning, but um, during business hours, and usually until about 10 p.m., there'll be somebody here that you can rent equipment from, such as like, if you need to make cookies, you want baking sheets, you can get that. Or if you're gonna like do a pasta night with friends, you can get that type of thing. And then obviously we showed the ping pong tables and pool table mm -hmm. over there. And you can went that kind of out over here. We also mentioned like a Nintendo Switch. There's a Nintendo Switch and just like different types of games. There's board games, almost anything you can think of, you can get a desk. Cool, lots of fun stuff to check out. Yes. So now we're gonna make our way down to the laundry room. It mm -hmm. is all the way down this hallway and to the left and we're going to explain a little bit about the laundry process now it's changed a little bit since last year mm -hmm. and we just got a question um from someone they said so pack so packages can be picked up at hots we were informed they would need to be picked up at maple hill could you explain a little bit about that um, this is actually a new thing so hots this year will be receiving their own mail last year you would have to pick them out itself but we are not doing it like that anymore mm -hmm. so you will just get packages delivered here gotcha Cool. So then, this is the laundry room. Mm -hmm. um, there is obviously, as you can see, there's quite a few washers and dryers. Mm -hmm. um, perfect for the building. Yeah. Um, the laundry process has changed a little bit from last year. So now you get two washes and two dries per week. Mm -hmm. And there will be an app that you will be able to yeah. access that from. Yeah, there's an app called, and I can talk about this a little bit, there's an app called Speed Queen, and uh, we'll be giving y'all more information about that in the coming weeks, but you'll essentially download that app, and then you'll um, uh, like log in, log your washes, and there'll be more information about that uh, coming up soon. Yes. All right, thanks, Hope. Yeah. What's next? So now we're going to head up to one of the rooms. We're actually going to go to the ninth floor, which is the top floor of this building. Gotcha. And we're going to be able to show you guys what a common area on the rooms look like, mm -hmm. as well as... Any questions you guys might have about the actual like dimensions of the rooms? <laughs> gotcha. And we may lose a little bit of uh, connection here, y'all. So bear with, bear with us if we do. So Hope, I think you're gonna, you were an RA and you will be an RA, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you explain a little bit about like what, a, what an RA is, what it stands for and what they do? Yeah. So an RA is a resident assistant. There's about one per floor in each building. And we're basically here to make sure that you're trained or things like that. That's always something that's kind of built around. Gotcha. All right, so this is one of the floors. And I think, believe we'll be going, going this way. Yeah. All right. 
so right here we have a recycling station. Right now it's closed just for summer, but during the school year it'll be open. Um, Hats is really big on recycling, so is the whole campus. So it's really good to have these on every floor. And then if we keep going this way, we have one of the two common areas on each floor. There's another one on the other side of the elevator, um, but it looks identical to this. Mm -hmm. People will come here to study, hang out, watch TV. Again, those programs that I was talking about, those will also be held here. Mm -hmm. And then if we come down a little bit more, we get one of the two water fountains on each floor. It has a water uh, bottle refill station, which is really nice. You can just mm -hmm. bring your own water bottles and refill them instead of having to keep using plastic. Do you have your own water bottle? I do. What does it look like? Is it cool? Um, I have one that's like university themed that just says like University of Arkansas. I think it says College of Engineering on it. And then I have another one that's like my hiking water bottle, as I like to call it. It's heavy duty. It's mm -hmm. pink with a bunch of stickers that my friend, my roommate actually gave to me when I moved in. My I feel like you can really customize your water bottle with stickers. I mm -hmm. recommend it. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of the examples of the bathrooms in Hats. Hats has two of these type of bathrooms per floor. Mm -hmm. um, if we just go into one, we can see that mm -hmm. there's a shower in almost all of them. The doors are from ceiling to floor, so there's no mm -hmm. like weird crap going on there. Yeah. Um, there's also these two bathrooms right here, which are, uh, one of them is unisex, mm -hmm. um, because each floor is broken up to, um, by gender. Mm -hmm. So if you have, you know, friends that are coming over, you know, it's good to have mm -hmm. opposite gender bathrooms. Yeah. And those are, uh, are full bathrooms, I believe. Yes. They have, like, gotcha. they have um, showers in them as well. And someone just asked how many showers per bathroom. Uh, would you happen to know how many that is? Um, or Talita, do you know? The we have about four. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, four. I had to kind of my head. Gotcha. But yeah, we have the individual one as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's pretty nice because you can close that door and it's actually closed. You have the toilet and the shower. Um, mm -hmm. So it gives you some privacy, which is really nice. Gotcha. Yeah. And Talita, this is another question for you. Um, yes. But in the kitchen area, do you know if there's a toaster that can be checked out from desk? Um, we do not have a toaster. Mm -hmm. um, we do have like a little um, convection oven that you mm -hmm. can use. Um, a lot of people use for like making pizza or like baking cookies and all of that. So we do not have a toaster. Gotcha. All right, Hope, take us to a, to a room. Alrighty. So first we're gonna show um, room 908. Any room that ends in eight is gonna look like this. Mm -hmm. um, it's. Not a lot of residents have rooms that look like this, but it, we did think it was kind of important to show. Uh -huh. These are on the ends, uh, yes. the end of the floors, I you believe, You have right? one of the buildings at the end of the hallways, this is what your room will look like. Gotcha. Um, yeah, just the room, and then obviously the views are amazing in these buildings. And be sure you also let us know any questions you have about the rooms, um, or if you want any measurements, because we'll be sure to uh, get those done as well. We'll do one last look at this room. And just as a reminder, these are the uh, rooms at the end of the floors. These are probably not uh, most of the rooms that you will have. All right. All right. And then we're going to go into this room right now. Mm -hmm. um, this is what almost every single room in house is going to look like, the exact dimensions and everything. Um, there will be two beds, two dressers, and basically two of everything. Gotcha. All right, y'all. Um, this is the last spot on our tour, so be sure to let us know any questions you have about the room or about HOTS, about the Honors College in general. Um, or if you want something specifically measured, please let us know. I guess we can also open these up um, just to see what the space is like. What was your room, Henry? My room was exactly like this, and I actually just got a question um, that I feel like I can answer a little bit since I lived in, in HOTS for three years is, do you feel like you still have enough room in your dorm uh, if it isn't lofted? Um, and I would say, um, I felt like my, the three years that I lived here, I felt like I did have a lot of room. My bed um, was lofted a little bit, but it wasn't like all the way high up. I didn't have to like climb stairs to get into it. But you can fit um, your drawers underneath there and your nightstand, but I feel like you there was plenty of enough room. Um, one question we have, Hope, if you can help me count, is how many outlets are there? In Toledo, would you happen to know how many outlets there are? Uh -huh. Yeah, so we have a 
about two in this side and two in there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's helpful. Let's see if there's another one in here. Actually, it's a four. Like one like this. Yes. Yeah, so. And then over there we have another one. Gotcha. And then on this side as well. So this side we have the kind of like this pot for um, cable TV and all of that. So mm -hmm. one of those is being used, but the other, but we also have another one down there. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So a lot of space for you to plug your tank in. Cool. So, yeah. All right, y'all, let us know what other questions you have. Um, and, yeah, actually, in the meantime, uh, Hope, could you talk a little bit about A-Week? Yeah, so A-Week is actually right after movement. It's the week before school uh, classes start. It is a great time to get to know the university, get to make some friends, and just to experience a lot of things that Fayetteville has to offer. Mm -hmm. A-Week... Um, We'll post a like schedule for that week. Actually, probably coming up in a few days. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, every single day, there's different programs starting all the way early in the morning at like 7 a.m. sometimes, and then all the way to like 7 p.m. at night. And they're not mandatory, but they're really fun to go to. I highly recommend them. Mm -hmm. um, they have things like Chocolate Wasted, which is sponsored by Housing, which is an awareness, but also they have like dance floor, and they give out a bunch of like desserts and chocolate and things like that. And then mm -hmm. they also have the Taste of Fayetteville, which is where a bunch of like restaurants and things like that in the area come and they give out samples of their food, which mm. I know that's also really popular and people love that. Yeah, people love free food. Yes. And yeah. then they also have like um, some like tradition stuff where I'm pretty sh I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they have like a little thing at the stadium where mm -hmm. they just kind of teach you like different like how to call the hogs yeah. and yeah. all of that fun I stuff. I can't jump in with hope. Yes. <laughs> That's Pat for Ollie. Um, uh -huh. It's a big one for us. The Hearing Hogs, we actually invite the entire building to go together. Last year we went and I think it was about like 150 of us all walking together and mm -hmm. wearing black. That's our tradition. We all wear black and then we paint like hats on our arms, like mm -hmm. we show our hot spirit, so it's really something that we do, and it's big here for our community, we get some ice cream before we go, um, yeah. and then we go together to the stadium, and that's a lot of fun, so you get, like, hopes that, like, you get to call the hogs, and, like, learn how to, how to be, you know, the very traditional razor mm -hmm. guy, so it's super fun, you guys will definitely come, hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, if you're living in hogs, and yeah, we'll let you know when we're meeting and all of that on that day, and mm -hmm. we can all walk together to the stadium. Gotcha. Well, super cool. Yeah. Well, y'all be sure to let us know if you have any, any questions, again, about HOTS, about this room, um, also about the Honors College. Um, and, yeah. And one thing I can talk about briefly, if I can, adjusting this camera is always a little bit hard. Um, can you let me know? Hope it's, You're good. It's, all right. Um, is Pick One. Um, Pick One is this uh, program where... Uh, it'll let you get involved in a campus organization, uh, kind of right when you uh, move to campus. And there's so many of them that I can't even describe them all, but like one of them would be Lead Hogs, uh, where they help put on programs in the, in the residence halls. Another one would be focused on UREC and fitness. Um, and so there's just so many different organizations. You can learn more about it at pick1.uark.edu, um, or if you just Google pick one uh, UARC. And um, I believe you can also rank your preferences, one, two, three, Hope, I don't know. Did you ever use that, uh, pick one? Um, I started school during COVID. Oh, uh, gotcha. Uh-huh, so, so it probably wouldn't have started. I, I don't think it started yet, and if uh -huh. it did, it wasn't really advertised, because, like, even orientation for us, everything was online mm -hmm. when I started, so gotcha. I'm not too sure. Yeah. I'm going to lean towards no, though. Gotcha. Well, um, definitely check it out, y'all. Um, check out the website, and yeah. So I'm gonna look and see if there's any more questions. But um, in the meantime, Hope, do you have any uh, advice you would give to our incoming freshmen? Words of wisdom, things you wish you knew? Ooh, that's a great, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, I would say don't be afraid to like go to things or do things and just like have a good time and experience college. Um, there's like a bunch of like pressure either come, coming from family or mm -hmm. friends, old friends, siblings, teachers, literally almost anywhere, like all like telling you so many things at once and like telling you like things have to be this way, or things have to be this way. And really it's like 
listen to like what you want to do mm -hmm. especially because like you might you're gonna meet like some of your best friends here I know I have and it's always like a really fun time so like don't be afraid to like go to the games or spend the night in the library or you know just like go to the program by yourself because your friends don't want to go with you your roommate doesn't want to go like mm -hmm. don't be afraid to do things because otherwise you're just gonna miss out on them and that's no fun gotcha thank you Talita, do you have any, any advice you would have for people coming yeah, into the residence hall? Absolutely. So I would say, um, kind of like going with what Hope said, uh, don't don't be afraid to get out of your room. I think it's very, you know, it's usually a lot of people would just be in their room and like go to class and come back and stay in their room. Like don't let that happen to you. Mm -hmm. Get out of your room, get to know your RA, like you have an RA on your floor and they will be dedicated to like make your experience better and like really help you get involved. So get to know your RAs, um, get to know me. I would mm -hmm. love to know you. Uh, stop by my office, say hi. I always have a snack. So if you want to come by, get a snack. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, get involved on campus. Um, there are a lot of things that you can join. Like Henry mentioned, the big one um, campaign that you can be involved even before arriving to campus. Mm -hmm. um, getting into lead halls, that's a big one for halls. Last year we had about 70 people that started with lead hogs so that was really fun a lot of our lead hogs um, have got like different leadership positions on campus i actually have two of my ras this coming year <laughs> and they were lead hogs last year so you know if that's something that interests you mm -hmm. um, so really just get out of your room go to things like participating things um you know get out of your comfort zone get to meet people um get to meet staff members um, get to meet, you know, your professors as well. Like, don't be afraid to reach out. Everyone here is, you know, here for your success and like hoping that you're gonna be, you know, the best that you can be in your future career. Um, so we're really here cheering for you. So yeah. Um, yeah. And as our um, representative from the Honors College, our graduate assistant, uh, any advice you would have for people that are gonna be in the Honors College or are hoping to join the Honors College? Yeah, I would really just say get to know Honors college faculty and staff and there's multiple opportunities to get to know them whether it's at recess or any other events on campus mm -hmm. they are really there to help you they want to see see you succeed and our dean dean Kuhn of the honors college loves to meet students so be a really great opportunity to be able to chat with her and really build that relationship as well as uh, someone who uh, dean Kuhn taught me a, a class or two she's amazing definitely go she reach is. out to her yeah she's great yeah and we have one question uh, for, uh, I think Talita, you would know this. Yeah. Is there an alarm system in the building for severe weather? Um, well, we have, yes. Raise alert. We yeah. have, yeah, raise alert, which is something that you will get on your phone. Um, mm -hmm. It's just letting you know, like, what is the condition and, like, when to take shelter, which is really helpful. You get a text message, or you can also um, get a call, and everyone will get an email, so, like, it goes right away, which is really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, we do have, like, fire alarm in the building, so we do a um, fire, um, kind of like a test. Mm -hmm. um, during the first weeks of class, um, so to make sure everything is working, and then you will see if you're gonna live in Hop next year, you will see uh, signage saying like we're doing a, a fire drill this day, like be prepared. Uh, so it's a great way for us to like take precaution and know what to do if those experiences occur. Um, but yeah, Razor Alert is a great one for um, weather, uh, inclement weather, and all of that. So yeah, awesome. Race Alert is good for a lot of stuff because it also tells you if there's anything like um, dangerous happening on campus, mm -hmm. which we don't really get a lot of that at all. But mm -hmm. if there was ever like any problems with campus, it will alert you. Yeah. It'll just get text. Yeah, and I think you you can like set up different preferences on UA Connect mm -hmm. for it, so it's a pretty pretty useful tool. Yes. Well, all right, y'all. Um, I feel like we don't have any more questions. I'll do one last survey of the room. Um, also, I don't know if you saw it before. There are towel bars behind that door. Uh, and Christopher, am I missing any anything? Uh, we talked about hey, we we talked about yeah, no, we, we maybe we open the drawers just to give them a view in there. Yeah, for sure. I'm curious about yeah mm -hmm. situation. Yeah, and I know I, someone asked about it before. I feel like when I was a freshman, I never felt like I had run out of space. You're definitely gonna collect things while you're in college, um, but. I feel like generally there, there's enough space uh, as, a, as a freshman student. But, all right, Hope, I think uh, you're good to, to sign us off. All righty. Do you want to say anything before these? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so
so you can or the honors college is and staff are really excited to meet y'all y'all can meet us on august 16th where we're having our honors college open house they're excited to meet everybody gotcha any last words, Salida? Yeah, well, so excited for you guys to get here. You get to know me really well. Excited for you to also know your RAs. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Follow us on Instagram, on our hot Instagram. We're always posting things. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just, you know, enjoy this ride. We're so excited for you and can't wait to meet you. Awesome. Thank you. And thanks to Hope for giving us the wonderful tour. tour, tour. That's kind of hard to say. And. As I said that, we had one last question. Which side is the A side and which side is the B side? Uh, are you sure about that? Yeah, so... <laughs> okay. yeah, it's a great mystery. Yeah, it's a great mystery. Uh -huh. So what's great your question. Okay? It's A, B. Mm -hmm. By convention, it's A and B. But you have an A or B designation when you choose your... your, yes. your it doesn't always translate to, yeah. you as roommates will make the decision which one is uh -huh. A and B. Typically, A is to the left and B is to the right when you enter the room, but it's not always that case. All right. Um, thank you for the question, and I think that's, that's the last one. So thanks again, I hope, for the wonderful tour. Yeah, and no we, will, yeah, we will see you all next time on, on New York Home Live.